spitting and sniffing that cocaine. I'll leave your jaw swinging from your neck like a gold chain. I'll break your legs and wrist and get you walking funny. You don't spend shits and stuff talking money. Most people know Jeff Samarja as a pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. Record of 8-11 this year with a 4-17 ERA. It's been pretty solid throughout his career, reliever for a lot of it. It's turned into a starter this year. I think he's pretty solid, but I know him personally as a wide receiver for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Former wide receiver, I should say. Back in the years of Brady Quinn, Charlie Weiss. You'll see here some of his highlights from his Notre Dame years. You see here a nice pass from Brady Quinn. Uh, after a pump fake, he's going to pick up some extra yards and end up in the end zone against UCLA. Part of that team that did uh, go on to the Orange Bowl, I believe, or the Fiesta Bowl in 2006, brought Notre Dame's program back to uh, BCS status, and uh, overall was a great player, had great hands, incredible hands. He was actually the holder for the team because of his hands, nicknamed the Shark. Part Serbian, uh, where the name Samarja comes from. So I've decided to recreate him in Madden 13. And this is how it's going to go down. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, a.k.a. the King of Boston. Hope you liked that little intro, uh, showing you guys some clips, some little background on uh, who this series is about. This is the Jeff Samarja Connected Career Mode. I am going to be making him a wide receiver. I tried to make his game face using the EA game face type of thing. I didn't use any pictures. I just kind of made it. It doesn't really look like him, but it's as close as I could get, and it's better than any of the default face templates. So, Anyway, obviously going to make him a wide receiver as that is what he was when he went to Notre Dame. I decided to go with the uh, possession wide receiver, Braylon Edwards type player. And uh, you see it says he gives like a high... Uh, catch and traffic rating so that's pretty good there are pros and cons to all of them uh, I just thought possession sounded pretty good and we're going to put him on the Seattle Seahawks I didn't want to put him on a team that was too good I wanted to put him on kind of an in-between team maybe a team that we could help carry to the playoffs potentially I really decided between that and the Cardinals and I've decided to do the uh, Seattle Seahawks we made him the low round draft pick I didn't want to make him a high round draft pick because I don't think he would have gone that high if he did enter the NFL draft but however, in real life, he didn't enter the uh, Major League Draft, obviously, and got drafted by the Chicago Cubs. You see his accessories. I tried to make him look like what he did in college. I didn't really know what to give him for the shoes, so I just thought those ones looked pretty nice, so I did that. And, uh, yeah, you can get a quick look at his starting attributes. Uh, so, uh, pretty pretty good starting attributes. I think um, it's going to be a good, good career. So far, I've played the first. Uh, this, this whole episode is the preseason. And then I've already played the first two weeks of the regular season. So far, it's been pretty successful. Uh, the preseason, not much happened. The first game, this is the only pass that was thrown to me. And I kind of get cock-blocked and picked off. Um, I believe that's Isaiah Griffin. I could be wrong. I think that's Isaiah. No, no, it's M. Griffin. So it's obviously not Isaiah Griffin. But anyway, um, that was the only uh, possession that uh, Samarja played. He's coming off like right into a... I don't know what string he is, but um, you know he's playing a lot. He's playing with the first team. However, something I don't get is why Tavares Jackson is starting over Matt Flynn and Jamarcus Russell. But anyway, getting into the second game here, down 7 nothing against Denver. There's another pass intended for us that would fall incomplete. And then again, um, Samarja. Kind of, I was really getting used to the wide receiver thing. I struggle a lot in the preseason. I wasn't really sure to run my routes. But I promise you, the next episode is going to be pretty good um, so far after recording a little bit of it. I do have one question. I want to know how many games you guys want to see per episode. I was thinking either two or four. I don't know if four would be a little too much. But um, based on the fact that in a couple of weeks, when I go back to school, I'm only going to be posting this series two episodes a week. And I want to get this, you know, pretty far. And I thought, you know, well, over the course of four weeks or a month, only getting a full season in. Only getting him, um, you know, a well, that actually would be a lot, maybe. I don't really know. That would only be getting, um, you know, eight episodes would be 16 games. So we'll see. I, I'm thinking I might do two, two or four. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, exit in the third preseason game, we lose to Kansas City 13 to 6. And I believe we actually had a catch in that game, which is pretty good. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I promise you guys the first two weeks are going to get really good. I'll probably post it tomorrow, to be honest, just so that you guys can see it. Because right now, I've got a lot of momentum from Madden right now. And uh, in case you guys didn't know, I am playing this through the EA Season Ticket Early Release version. But anyway, this is going to wrap up this episode pretty shortly. It's a very quick episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, it would be uh, great if you could drop a like. And uh, yeah. So uh, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for me, guys. Uh, I'm just going to leave you guys with the little end screen here. 
as we end up lose or no, we end up beating the uh, Oakland Raiders. So nothing can do for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'm out. Peace.